Guys, our friends at Ridge have done it again. After creating the world's greatest wallet, they have now launched the Ridge key case. You no longer have to be bulked down by your old jangling keychain. You gotta try it out for yourself. Click on the link in the description below. Use the promo code CHAIL, that's gonna get you 10% off. And look how good it goes with my Ridge wallet. The Ridge key case secures between two and six keys. It organizes your keys in a compact silhouette and folds out for easy access. There are six colors and styles, including carbon fiber and my favorite, burnt titanium. The Ridge team is so confident that you like it, they're gonna let you test drive it for 45 days. If you don't love it, send it back, get a full refund. Go to ridge.com slash chale to save 10% today or just click on the link below. What does Gordon Ryan do now? What does the sport of jujitsu do in response to Gordon Ryan? Let's take these in ascending order. Gordon Ryan stays with jujitsu. So many guys want to go and do MMA, right? The policeman and the fireman, they just can't get along. The pipe fitter and the plumber, they, they, they just can't get it right. The Marine and the soldier, don't say it in the wrong words. It's one of these things. Every actor wants to be an athlete. Every athlete wants to be an actor. Now, the athlete can't stand the monotonous, boring days that it is on set, and the actor can't stand to work hard for two hours. It's not going to work. But they still want to do that, and everybody that has any level of martial art wants to get over to MMA. There are exceptions, and there should be exceptions. There was a time when you would have defended your craft. You would have defended it. Like, now you can get karate guys and jujitsu guys together, and the karate guys will go, yeah, the jujitsu guys are a lot better for a real-life situation. Like, that, that's where we are now. But there was a time, and it wouldn't have led to fisticuffs. They don't have to go prove it and fight. The karate guy never would have wilted. He was certain, and he would have backed his craft. And the jujitsu guy would do the same thing, and the judo guy would do it, and the taekwondo guy would do it. You even get the weird Aikido guy and the kung fu guy, but they really believed it. They really would have done that. They truly would have stood on it. They never, ever would have wilted. And when you have a guy like Gordon Ryan, who can now go to the old, he can just say, I can beat all of you guys. I can beat everybody in MMA. I have the absolute best crowd. I'm not going to do MMA. I'm going to do this. If they want to come over here, go ahead. But I can still beat you. He can just come out and say it. There's very few guys that can. You've got to have a really big voice. But he does. Jordan Burroughs is thinking about going over to MMA. I don't know that Jordan still has that belief, but he did a number of years ago. Jordan didn't need to. Jordan is the highest paid wrestler on earth. He's the highest paid wrestler in the history of earth. Gordon Ryan is the hardest, highest paid jiu-jitsu guy. He's the highest paid guy in the history of jiu-jitsu. And there's more arms. There's more ability to make money now. There's DVDs, by example, which is an incredible business. If you want mine, go to BJJ Fanatics right now. Really, I, I've got it over there, but I'll just share it. It's an incredible business. People want to do that. You have sponsorships that are coming out because you now have distribution. People like Fight Pass, people like Flow Grappling that are adding and getting behind this. Organizations like One Championship and now rumors of whatever it is that Nate Diaz is going to go into is also going to have a pure grappling arm. And I don't see any reason for Gordon to leave behind what he's worked so hard to have. And I think it's a very different spot. And the sport of jujitsu, who does not have great leadership, but for what leaders they have, need to throw an arm around Gordon and say, stay here. You are the guy that can take us to the next level. You are the guy we've been waiting for. You are the guy we never knew that we needed. You are the guy. But this is your sport. You're with us, but we're with you. We're going to keep you busy. We're going to keep you active. We're going to keep your name out there. We're going to make sure that you get to have some fun. We're going to keep on lying in your pot, but don't leave us. That conversation's never taken place. Nobody has ever said those words to Gordon Ryan. The entire community needs to come forward and say that to Gordon Ryan. But Gordon, much like Jordan Burroughs, can stay put, stay right where he's at. He's getting fame, he's getting exposure, he's getting the notoriety, he's getting the championships. Keep going and getting them. Make these guys come to you. If you want to prove that you're overall, the, I mean, I do understand that. I do understand that mixed martial arts most certainly has a place. I do understand the recognition, but I don't think that Gordon would disagree. 
There's just no reason to mingle them. Just because I'm great at jujitsu doesn't mean I need to go and learn, start learning to punch people in the face. It just doesn't. I worked really hard. Gordon started in high school, guys, twice a day, every day. There was no gym team anywhere in the world that was training twice a day, every day. And they go through that. The only day they take off is Sunday at the Danaher Desk Squad. John Danaher was the only coach that took the same crew. Many coaches will run many classes a day, but different people come in. Hey, these are the brown belts. These are the blue belts. These are the beginners. These are the seniors. He doesn't bring the same professional team in twice a day, every day. I mean, just that training alone. And Gordon did that through high school. There's rumors that he didn't even finish high school, that he went and did this instead of high school. I, I don't know that that's true, and I'm only trying to speak about the sacrifice that he's put in. He worked really hard with big goals to have a great skill set. He's got them. He earned it. And he's recognized, and he's paid. I'd like to see him stay put. I would not be as interested in seeing Gordon Ryan go and do MMA. We've done that many times with these guys. And I will tell you, I go, I go and watch. I went and watched when Marcelo Garcia did it for a couple of minutes. I go and watch it, but that, that still doesn't answer my question. If he gets beat up in MMA or he beats a guy up in MMA, it doesn't speak to the grappling, which is the whole point that he was setting out to prove. Now, that's okay, and that's his decision. There's very few guys. Everybody else got to go into MMA. You want recognition. You want to make this a career. You got to go into MMA, but a couple of guys don't. Jordan Burroughs, for example, we want to see him doing his craft. Gordon Ryan, for example, we want to see him doing his craft. Now, what does the world of jiu-jitsu do in response to Gordon Ryan? They must change. Public enemy number one, Gordon Ryan. Public enemy number two is the Danaher Death Squad. And you had better believe that if you're in jiu-jitsu. If you don't, you're not competitive. You're in the wrong field. I guarantee you, Eddie Bravo is already looking at a curriculum. He wants that one spot back, of which he used to have. I guarantee you, the Gracie family is already looking at that curriculum. They want the one spot back, of which they used to have. But it's not just a technique standpoint. It's also a training standpoint. you got to hear what I'm saying. Twice a day, every day. Look, do you know anybody that's ever done that? A lot of you guys do jujitsu, myself included. I'm a black belt. But do you guys do it twice a day, every day? The only day you rest is Sunday. 12 workouts a week. That's what I'm asking. Do you 12 workouts a week? That alone is going to move you into a different category. Just the training and preparation and understanding and that time. You guys understand that? That makes perfect sense. Then when you add the techniques, when you add the system, particularly lower body, and John Danaher pays homage to Dean Lister for opening his eyes to the importance of lower body. Don't only use half the body, use the entire body. However, these are not Dean Lister techniques. John Danaher has adapted, he has changed this, he has his own system. Many guys have even posted online, well, you can just go buy the video and find out everything you're doing. Please stop with that. And I'm even in a position where I gotta figure out what I want to do. Because I want to understand this. I have a black belt, I've spent 20 years there's a ton I've still got to learn about my sport just in my own gym, but this is a different thing. And I'm thinking I'm going to need to get in a plane, I'm going to need to go get a hotel, and I'm going to need to stay there for a period of time. It's exactly what Jake Shields did. Jake Shields was done competing, but he knew he was going to coach. He knew he understood the sport. He knew they were doing something different. He went and moved. Jake Shields moved out to New York. How to go and learn these things. Now, he has left and he's back and he's showing his guys, but he's not getting beat. I'm just sharing. It's very important. What is Jiu-Jitsu going to do in response to Gordon Ryan? Some of them are going to stand back and say, this is the king. But other ones of them are going to step forward and say, hey, king, I'll see you real soon. I'm going to start training twice a day. I'm going to start learning these techniques, but that's exactly what they're going to have to do. And whether you want to learn those from an offensive standpoint or a defensive standpoint, you're going to need one of those if you're going to deal with Gordon. It's not a matter of Gordon being the best, guys. A lot of guys got shown as the best. Boy, what Yuri Simone's did, I mean, just by example. What Rutello did, just by example. I mean, there was a lot of people that showed how great they are. Showed that they're the best. Showed that they're the best. With Gordon, we're talking about a gap. It looks like a different sport when Gordon's doing it. Gordon was done fighting Andre Galvo in three minutes. Regardless of what the history books say, regardless of what your eyes tell you, Regardless of how long was on the clock, that match was over in three minutes. 
Oh, that's very impressive. Andre's awesome. And Andre, though he was done in three minutes and officially closer to 12 or 13, made it longer than the other guys did. Gordon to win the world championship took him two minutes and 15 seconds. I mean, we're talking about a gap. We're talking about a sizable gap. We're talking about if Gordon Ryan had a broken arm and it was time to compete, he could still show up and go do it and be expected to win. You would have to handicap him. I mean, do you understand why it's so important to have a gap? You got these great guys. Why do they still work so hard? Why is Gordon still in there twice a day, every day? You ever wonder that? The master who people are trying to catch up to, why is he still in there twice a day, every day? Do you know the answer to that? Some of you don't. The answer to that is to add to the gap in case a competition falls on a day when he's not feeling good. That's the answer. If he sprained his ankle or twisted his knee or he's got something wrong with his arm, just by example, if he wakes up and he's sick, he's got strep throat, but the match is in two hours. He can still go do the match, underperform, and get victory. That is what the real greats do. That is how the real greats look at it. And I'm curious what the sport is going to do in reaction to this. I'm curious who's going to call him out, who's going to come after him. Bomba tells me that Felipe Pena was trying to get to the mat. Now, I like that. I like that version, and I couldn't see what Felipe Pena was. Perhaps he was trying to get to the mat to take the king up on his challenge. Perhaps. But the shot that I did see with Kenny Florent and Gordon, when I heard this challenge made, the crowd wasn't reacting. Felipe Pena was trying to storm his way to the mat. People were having to hold him back. There would have been a reaction, I think. Now, I don't begrudge Felipe. I, I'm trying to look forward to what's next for Gordon. Felipe Pena is an awesome option. That is a, a wonderful rival, a wonderful competitor. Yuri Simone's just proved, I mean, he just, right, but it's one of these things. No matter how good you are, no matter what success you have, you have a guy who's getting better. These guys that get to the best, and a lot of these names that I've said, they are going to stop right here. And they're going to stay there. They're going to stay the best until somebody can catch them. That's a lot of times how it works. Gordon's not. Next time you see Gordon, he will be better. Gordon's in the gym today. It's just something to think about. That's all. It's just something to think about. I believe Gordon needs to stay with jiu-jitsu. I apologize. I would like to see Gordon stay with jiu-jitsu. And Gordon is one of the few guys who can. As a matter of fact, he's the only guy currently alive who can. Who can set himself up, who can have a good life, who can go and make the money, can make just as much as he does in MMA. He's the only guy. But I think for that very reason is why he should stay. But the jiu-jitsu community must also understand they need to ask him to stay. They need to tell him that he's wanted. They need to tell him that he's needed. And he is both of those things.